ma'am, you was not about that life. You just not. And neither am I. Let's get it straight. <laughs> I'm not. Girl, look, don't touch my body. I'm picking up something and I'm knocking the hell out of you. <laughs> Hey ladies, good morning. Welcome back to a new vlog. Girl, this should be the final episode of me getting rid of these roaches. Um, I'm gonna do up under the cabinet today. Girl, I just been tired and running with the kids. So um, let me open the vlog. My name is Ivy. Baby, we talk about everything, like, like everything. If you ain't subscribed, what are you doing with your life? I like to say to you, hey, boo. I want you to feel the heat and we can ride the boo. And for my returning subscribers, hey, boo. I can't believe it, I believe it, I think we have. Girl, so I'm up this morning. Actually, y'all know I get up early with the kids. Um but i went over to the bank i told y'all i got that check right so i go over to the bank and because it's a different name i haven't used that name oh here come my divorce papers because that's what she said i had to bring my divorce papers girl i don't know where these girl look i had to search high and low for these divorce papers because um it's saying that i got divorced on well it was filed march 14 2003 i guess on the back look stay focused don't go to the left with me because i ain't all the way right so it so anyway um i got my divorce papers and it's got my social security number on it and i also got my social security card so um i'm gonna go back to the bank because that's what she said i needed she didn't say i needed my social security card but girl I'm not trying to go back um, because it's probably about a 15 minute ride from me. And so I'm not trying to go back um, to the bank. So I just got my social security card. So there we go. I don't have no marriage license. I probably ripped that up, shredded it up, used it for confetti. I don't know where that's at. For whatever reason, and that's what I'm saying. I don't know why some things made it to Georgia and some things didn't. Because um, you will have to really dig in the crate to find out what I brought. But anyway, um, all I packed what was in my Cavalier um, and moved to uh, Georgia. And most of it was clothes and stuff like that. But um, some things I brought. And for whatever reason, I brought my divorce papers. Guys seen down the line. I Look, I don't know. I ain't him, and that ain't my business. But at any rate, I did bring my divorce paper, so I'm headed back over there. I got me some coffee I got from a uh, racetrack um, when I first went over there because I went to the location in Fayetteville, and in Fayetteville, um, racetrack is right next door. So, um, you know, I'm going to keep saying it until y'all come over and subscribe. Yes. Um, Y'all know I started the new channel. I got about four videos in, so that's about two weeks because I do two videos a week. And I was supposed to video for that today, and yeah, I could go this way. And I did not. I haven't. I was supposed to video today, and I haven't videoed today um, because I've been tearing up my house looking for these divorce papers. Yeah, a mother near. Her did I take that check in the house? Oh, no, I got it right here. Okay, I wanted to make sure I didn't take the check in the house because, girl, then I had to turn around and go back and get that. So, anyway, I got the check. I got my divorce papers. I got... What's going on down here? Oh, that car was stalled yesterday. I hope you got insurance because, baby, they going to tow it. 
girl, you can't pay me to drive no car in Georgia. But anyway, like I said, I got all my stuff, so I'm ready to go for all with that. But yeah, um, it, it's just not worth it to drive without insurance. So anyway, I'm gonna get up the road, girl, cause I ain't got nothing to talk about. I'm trying to catch my breath. Oh no, they got somebody. Now who is it? Oh, it's a tow truck. Oh no, it's not, it's the police. He said, baby, don't have good luck. He's taking his time to make that turn. Any other time, fools be doing Jack Johnson's hurrying quickly, expeditiously to make that turn. Now he, I don't want to turn. My stuff ain't right. Baby, put this up under the seat. Spray some spray. <laughs> so anyway, girl, let me get up the road, girl, because look, I still got to go home. Um, I got to make this, so I got a video for both channels today, and then I have to edit for both channels. So look, I put a, um, a video up yesterday, Unfair Grace. Girl, look, if you need a word, if you got some hesitation on where you at in your life, if you think you should be doing better than what you doing, if you think that this one is getting blessed and what about you, baby, go check that video out. I'm telling you, that video will touch your spirit. I'm talking about your spirit. Now we are, this is just the flesh. This ain't who we are. This ain't who God sees us as. He sees our spirit, our soul. Girl, check that video out. Unfair Grace. So anyway, girl, let me get up the road and turn my ear up because I got it. It's no numbers. It's just like the little nodule. So come on, baby. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead, baby. There you go. There you go. Um, It's nice to be nice. I was coming from bringing KK to school and in a school zone, 25 miles per hour. Girl, I remember I went to jail. I don't know what I went to jail for that time. I can't remember. But anyway, I was in jail. And this girl, I done missed my turn. I was supposed to turn right there. So anyway, um, girl, I was in jail. And so you know everybody gets to telling their war stories in jail. If you don't know, if you ain't been to jail, that's what they do. They tell their war stories. They try to glorify it and make it seem like it's more than what it is. Ma'am, you was not about that life. You just not, and neither am I. Let's get it straight. <laughs> I'm not. Girl, look, don't touch my body. I'm picking up something, and I'm knocking the hell out of you. Don't touch my body. Number one, I ain't got enough wind. Number two, my back, my knees is bad. Number three, my back is bad. And number four, I don't even know if I could grip whatever I'm going to pick up. So, I, I look... I, I try not to be confrontational, but anyway, listen, y'all know y'all gotta stay with me. So, I'm in jail. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what I was in jail for. Girl, I went to jail so many times. I, look, I'm just talking about me. This is a tell your, tell on your own booty program. Y'all done heard enough cussing from me. Tell on your own booty program, okay? So, the girl, when we got to her story, because everybody tell their story, and we see who the bad is. Remember back in the days, used to be like the baddest one touched my hand? Kids were so stupid back then. We was dumb. But anyway, girl, we got to her, and she got stopped for going through a school zone speeding. Ma'am, you ain't got no license. You ain't got no insurance on your car. So number one, you shouldn't even be driving. But since you are, and you made that decision, because we always got a choice, ladies. You made that decision to drive. Man, why are you speeding through a speed uh, a, a school zone that's 25 miles per hour? Baby, you were supposed to be going 20 miles an hour. Really, you supposed to have been going 15. Maybe 18 if your stuff ain't right. But you gonna speed in a school zone and the police was there and they caught you? Yeah, ma'am, you deserve a seat next to me. Come on over here and sit down. I, look, like they say somewhere else I go. 
will love you till you learn to love yourself. <laughs> girl, let's get up the road, girl. I ain't got time to be fooling around with y'all. I gotta cast this check. Girl, oh, I remember my mama used to get her check on the, um, it used to be, I was listening to, um, the gospel channel here, 102.5, um, with Yolanda Adams. So I was listening to that. I like to listen to that in 99.1. And I listen to 103. I listen to 104. I listen to 94. I listen to 107. I listen to 99, 97.9. Don't get it twisted. I love music. So anyway, stay focused. So I'm listening to her and she was saying, what from back in the days do young people today would not believe or, um, wouldn't participate in something to that effect but anyway this lady got on and she was talking about paper food stamps and baby i remember when we used to get paper food stamps she said they had a five they had a ten they had one and you would have to take the actual book like money like monopoly money and take it to the store now they wouldn't take the five and a ten unless it was in the book but you could give them the ones without it being in the book and she was saying how kids today, you know, young people today, they wouldn't want to do that. You know, they got the EBT card now, so they take the EBT card and, you know, it's like they swiping a credit card. But, ma'am, if I'm up close and personal and in your business, I can see it's an EBT card because it's green. And in Georgia, I don't know where else, but in Georgia, it's green like little flowers or little plants from the stems from the peaches. And then it's got peaches all over it. So... Man, that's an EBT card. That does not say Visa. Girl, I, look. Ooh, they go a Range Rover. I'm, I'm, I'm going, baby. I'm going. I'm trying to look at this. Ooh, girl, I can't wait till I get my Range Rover. I don't know when. I don't know how. It ain't my business. Girl, I'm getting a Range Rover. God said he will give you the desires of your heart. And now y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta go watch that video. Don't covet. Don't compare. What was it? Don't covet. Don't compare. Don't criticize. And don't complain. Girl, y'all better go check that video out. Girl, you gonna do yourself a favor. Girl, let me get up the road. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I got my check deposit. Um, she said it'll be available. I can get a portion tomorrow, but then she said the whole thing will be available in two business days. But that's fine. I just needed it to be deposited, you know. Um, oh, special shout out to Lisa. That was the teller. Beautiful young lady. Um, you know, you just never know. Like, like I said, you don't have to be nasty. You don't have to have a nasty house. Sometimes it just is what it is, you know what I mean? You the house or the apartment or whatever, you know what I mean? So don't look down on people that got roaches. Just empathize. Because, baby, the real deal is I seen roaches on my bus. I was wondering with somebody in this car. I seen roaches on my bus. You know, people, roaches will travel with you. That passport is denied.
from here on out. All right, yeah, like I said, ladies, um, it just is what it is. You do what you need to do to get into a solution. I don't want to run nobody over. But yes, that young lady, Lisa, she was so sweet. Girl, I felt like we just knew each other. Girl, when you're talking about roaches, you just look. You just, it's, it's some kind of like, I, uh, I know, I get it. You know what I'm saying? And she was just so real with it. You know, because some people be like, you know, oh, roaches, ugh, and I ain't never. It's some folks right here that you watching on YouTube that grew up with roaches. You know, sometimes when we younger, we we govern, we're governed up under the leadership that we're under. You know, your mom, your grandma, your dad, your auntie, you know what I'm saying? And you have to live according to where you are. But you can always make a better life. And I'm t I'm not just I'm not just talking about in terms of roaches. I'm talking about in terms of having less than, uh, in terms of how you dress, in terms of how you smell, in terms of how you look. You know, this is a, a epidemic where women are getting their bodies adjusted. They don't like the way their body. Some women, some flat butts might run in some people's families. Big booze might run in some people's family. Like, some people may not have full lips. <laughs> like the queen right here. You understand what I'm saying? So, baby, you just gotta look. It's all right. Like I said on my channel before, it's all right. I just gotta get all right with it. And sometimes that getting all right with it is going to get something done to your body, whether it's adding or subtracting from your body. And that's your personal choice. You know, because I was actually, you know, I said it before, I was actually thinking about getting the tummy tuck. Um, and it's a procedure. It's not called the tummy tuck because um, they don't tighten your muscles. They do everything else. They just don't tighten your core muscles. Um, but everything else, they take your stomach. They take all the, the love handles, whatever's hanging. They take all of that. All the skin. There's no skin left or none of that. Um, and that's a tummy tuck. But they don't tighten the muscles. So you still got to work out to get your muscles in check. But girl, bye. Look. Y'all better live and let live. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, it was just so sweet talking to her. Her spirit was so familiar to me. Girl, I feel like we could go on a lunch date. You know what I'm saying? Not like that. Not like that. Not like that. That's not what I'm talking about. Get your mind out the gutter. But what I'm talking about is just, she just seemed like a cool individual. You know what I'm saying? Down to earth. I, I'm down to earth and I like down to earth people. You know, y'all could miss me with all that extra and ooh and oh, huh, excuse them, what? Girl, they had this girl, she just got um sentenced to four years fed time because she out here time trying to impress some people that she don't even know. How you shopping at Louie and Gucci and doing all this stuff for Instagram and TikTok and I don't know if she had a YouTube account. But you doing all of this, ma'am. And now you about to go to jail for fit. Yeah, you weren't trying to feed your kids. You weren't trying to keep a roof over your head. You ma'am, you weren't trying to do any of that. Your baby wasn't sick and needed a life or death surgery. None of that. You trying to keep up with the Joneses. And now you about to do four-year fed time. Baby, I bet you ain't none of them people that following you on Instagram going to jail with you. Ain't none of them people on TikTok going to jail with you. Baby, you got to do that time all by yourself. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Wherever you at in life, accept it and devise a plan to do better if that's your choice. That's it. All right, let me get home because I got work to do. Hey, good morning, y'all. 
Girl, I'm up. And um, I'm gonna finish off this kitchen. So what I did, um, well, it's a continuation of vlog because I videoed yesterday. Y'all see the girl did pumpkins last night. If y'all have not checked that live out, please go check that live out. So I did pull everything from up under the cabinet. I'm gonna I'm do the drawers next. But I pulled everything from up under the cabinets and um, I'm gonna wash it out. And then I got some contact paper that I'm gonna put down there. So here's the cabinet. I pulled everything out. This is what I was left with, but y'all seen it was a whole pile. So, um, yeah, let's go to work. fighting with this contact paper um i do want to put some on the side but this was just enough for the um for the bottom um you know in these older apartments you know when you got us look they're gonna do the bare minimum why they went up on my rent a hundred dollars um Okay, so I'm going to start putting this stuff back in here. I got these, and I love them. I broke one. It was a set of three, and I broke one. I really don't want to give them away. I'm not using them. I, I, I'm just going to get rid of them. Now, this right here I have to keep because y'all remember I broke this, but it's the apartment complex, so I can't just throw it out. So I'm going to put it in here. Sit that right there. And then I got like, these are bath bombs. We're going to make it work, girl. I don't know how. But we're going to make it work. Something, something to go in there. And if nothing go in there, then that's all right. Um... Okay, let me put my fire extinguisher back in here. Girl, so old up under here. Girl, up in this corner right there, they ain't even paint. It's just, they just took whatever was left on the brush and slapped it. But you could see like where the um, drain go down. You could see the opening. So yeah, it's easy for them to travel from apartment to apartment. But baby... Y'all ain't going to be traveling here. <laughs> the show, what they used to say, the buck stopped here. Yeah, the buck stopped here. Now, that's that. Can I get the phone? Okay. So, um, yeah, let me get back. I'm going to put me some music on. We're going to wrap this thing up. Okay. These I'm giving away. These are bath bombs. Those could go in there. Why do I have one wrench in here? I don't know. But we're going to keep it. Paint. This is 
hair stuff. So I can see it. Um, these are candles. So yeah, nothing else is going back down here unless it's supposed to be down here. So let me get up. Girl, I ain't supposed to be on my knees. Girl. y'all right, I finally got this kitchen together I still need to do these drawers but baby look I'm so tired of making roach videos I think this been going on all week I might have broke up the monotony with like the pumpkin if y'all haven't checked that video out um the girls did pumpkins last night we went live because baby I just I've been tired I look so anyway I done got this pretty much squared away, and yeah. So, this is what I did to the cabinet. I know some people might think I went overboard, but I don't care. I don't want roaches. And then, I was talking to the lady downstairs. Um, girl, she brought the kids some candy this morning, knocked on my door at 7.30 in the morning. But anyway. She knocked on my door. Anyway, we were talking this morning. And she said that she seen one or two. So if they say they seen one or two, they seen 17, 25. No, baby, they coming right back downstairs. I'm sorry. So, um, yeah, so what I did was up here, I, let me take y'all over there so y'all can see what it did. So this is what I did. I just did all the cabinets. I put everything into containers. And this is all Dollar Tree containers, okay? So that's what I did over there. Then over here, um, I put everything in containers over here. The only thing that's not in containers is the canned goods. Now over here, I didn't have enough containers. Well, actually, let me not. I had some more containers but um, I misplaced two tops. So this is all medicine right there. That's medicine. And then those are noodles. So either, yeah, so either, because I, I looked behind the um, freezer, I didn't see it. So either I miscounted the tops when I got them, or they still in the car, or I just didn't get them. So um, if that was the case, then I'll go back. And um, I'll check the car first, but then I'll let them know I'm missing two tops. And I'm going to get my top because when I went to the $1 tree, they had a whole bunch of tops and no containers for the um, for the big ones like this. Now, ladies, this right here is um, hot dog buns and hamburger buns. Now, I don't know how y'all use y'all bread if y'all put it in the refrigerator or if y'all leave it out. I like my bread out. So now, um, this is the container for this. I will have to get another container. Um... Once I get um, the whole loaf bread, because I don't have any loaf bread right now. But, um, yeah, my crackers, um, just random box stuff, hamburger helper, noodles. Um, those are some taco shells and coffee pot um, filler, pepper, my canned goods. Um, over here, let's make sure you can see what I'm seeing. Do you see what I see? Okay, my um, I was flipping my camera around. So we have sugar. This is coffee, spaghetti noodles. The spaghetti is in an individual pack, but I still put it in here anyway. Um, sugar. No, this is flour. I found some smaller containers, so I did take the rice out and put it in smaller containers. So rice, flour, pancake mix, grits, seasoning, seasoning. Now this right here, ladies, make sure y'all can see this. This is cooking grease. Um, one thing I remember, um, let me turn y'all around a little bit. One thing I remember, I'm trying to hold y'all up because I think I got the camera um, close up. But one thing I remember growing up, roaches love, they love sugar and they love cooking grease, okay? So I got, um, I put my grease in here. I have a new container of grease. It's still in a bottle. So these are, um, 
Let me just take this. Okay, what well, I just get, took y'all off the tripod. So, um, cooking oil, tea bags, cocoa, cereal, fruity pebbles, cocoa pebbles. Y'all remember I said don't buy no sugar snacks. Um, oatmeal, cereal, sugar. So that's what I did for up here. And so y'all know what's down there. So now, like I said, I didn't get to the drawers. Um, girl, I was, I put these vases up because, let me turn this way because that light that way. I put these vases up. They're like little jars. And I wonder, I mopped the floor. I seen something wet on the floor, so I mopped it. I go sit down. I'm watching Peyton. And, oh, girl, look. Peyton was talking about when uh, Kyron screamed in her last video. Kyron, Kyron screamed because... She seen a cricket in the house. Baby, can you imagine how much screaming she'll do if she sees some roaches? <laughs> Peyton, you're doing a good job, girl. So, but anyway, these right here, I was saying I didn't want to get rid of them. This one has a crack in it. That's that's a crack right there. And so that the water kept leaking on the floor, and I couldn't figure out why. Where the water was coming from. So then I checked it. So anyway, that one is gonna go in the garbage. And I'll just keep the other one. So, now what I did down here was, let me turn the light on. Because I put a light down here. Um, now, those are just cleaning products. The Raid, the Boric Acid is in the back. You know, I don't want my grandbaby fooling around with stuff. But I didn't put the Boric Acid in the container. I want them to go in there. Please go in there. And I just put stuff here that I can readily go, uh, grab. These are just some um, bags and... Uh, what else I got in there? Um, dishwashing tablets, some glue the kids have. Now, these are just the sponges of the Brillo pad thing. And down here, I have just some random stuff, um, dryer sheet. And so, I have my bleach and ammonia. So, now I can see down here. And then, I had another light over here, but that light is not working. So, yeah, so that's how down there came out. Let me turn this light out. Ooh, girl, because it take um three batteries. So, and then I just brought some more um little design stuff. I got some more there in the car. Let me close all these cabinets. I got some um yeah, I got some more there in the car. So, um yeah, I'll get them when I go get KK. But um, I got the baits. Um, these are the little things, and I put them on top of the refrigerator. But some something is telling me that I need to. Why well, can't you just open it and put it up there? Because I can see the little hole for the um for the roaches to go in. Um, hopefully, hopefully it don't get used. But baby, I I just needed to go to the extreme with my kitchen. Um, I, I, I just don't want to live with roaches. I'm not talking about nobody that has roaches. I'm not belittling anybody. It's not that I think I'm better than. Baby, I just, me personally, I just don't like roaches. And I know when you're in a dwelling like this, when you have multiple families and an older building, because sometimes the roaches are in the foundation, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I have to do whatever it is necessary for me to make sure I don't have roaches. So, this is the table. Them the pumpkins the girls did. And so, now, back there, is nothing back there, nothing crawling. I did spray Raid all back there. Um, I sprayed while the dogs were uh, out. Um, and what I'll do is, I'm sorry, yeah, my eye is itching. What I'll do is I'll oh my eye is itching. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna spray periodically. Um, spray the ray between the washing machine. Well, the washing machine ain't gonna be here uh, for long. But well, oh, I got another one. I'm getting Saturday. The one that was at um the one I've been using for years for my husband. But I said I was gonna buy a new one, but I don't know. But anyway. So, I'm real pleased with how my kitchen came out. It was a lot of work. Um, you know, I'm out for a back injury. My fingers are numb. I'm not supposed to be on my knees. I done had knee injections. So, yeah, I'm not even supposed to be on my knees. But, baby, desperate times cause for desperate measures. And, baby, I was going to get this done. 
by hook or crook. So and I just hadn't gave it to the lady yet, but um, I will um, ask her if she wanted, cause I can't even think of anything that I would put on there. Like right now with some shoes on there, but um, I have a stand out there for shoes for the girl. So anyway, y'all look, I am done with this roach saga. Um, now that I've seen them, and I still, to be perfectly honest, I've still killed one or two here or there. Um, not 17 or 25. It's literally been one or two. And it's been like the baby ones. Girl, oh my God, I was so mad. Um... See, I don't like sticking my hand not knowing what's got, what I'm going to come up with. I don't like that. Girl, I'm, I'm watching these walls make sure. Um, can I get this? Mm. Oh, I've had this forever. Killing a roach, I broke it. This, um, so I'm going to, I know this glass blowing place. And so I'm going to try to keep the two blessed. Blessed she, blessed she. Those two I'm going to try to keep. I noticed um, when I was driving my bus, it's a, um, a glass blowing place. So I'm going to see if they can cut that out. And maybe I could just use it. You know, you sit your spoons or whatever on. And that's really decoration. Yeah, that's decoration on my stove. Ain't no uh, ain't no spoons being set there. We, we not doing that. Uh, I'm sorry. So I'm real pleased with how my under cabinet came out and my cabinets up here. Um, I do have some more stuff. Like I said, I'm, um, I got to check about the two um, tops. And they're probably in the car because I checked and double checked when I counted my tops at the store. So anyway, ladies, that is going to be it for this video, girl. Plus, I'm hungry. You know, Do you know I have not cooked in my kitchen? Since I seen that roach, I have not cooked in this kitchen. Girl, them girls did the pumpkins last night. Um, so we cut out a garbage bag and put the garbage bag on the floor. And the girls did the pumpkins on the um on the garbage bag. Girl, soon as they finished, I wrapped that plastic up and took it to the dumpster. Cause they come and get our garbage here, and that's another reason I think. Why, if you have an older building, I know other people might be doing it. I know my friend, she said that um, they do it there. It's the valet garbage. But my thing is, why would you do that here? So you just got garbage sitting. So I don't like to leave my garbage because you leave it in the hallway and they come and get it. But I don't like to do that. So I take mine right to the dumpster, even though they're taking $25 out of my check. So, um, and I'm going to start spraying raid in that hallway too. I think that's what I'm going to do, too. So, anyway, ladies, i like to say thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This. Share and subscribe. Girl, my arm, my muscles is, is tight. I mean, they tight, but they... Ooh, girl, hold on. Ooh. Girl. My, 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 my arm was burning, like, right in here just from holding that camera. So I had to put the camera on the tripod. But anyway, ladies, thank y'all for watching. Um, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, it is what it is. You know, like I tell y'all, it's a real channel. You know, I don't come on here and try to act like I'm living something that I'm not. This is my world and I chose to share my world with y'all. And for the ones who come by and watch, okay, thank you. For the ones that come by and stay, thank you. Because, baby, we're going to keep this thing going. My Look, I have to live in my reality. For so many years, I lived outside my reality, you know. And, girl, me and this other girl were just talking. Um, Lisa, we were just talking yesterday. And it's like people used to think of me and was like, oh, she bougie or she thinks she better than. Because I remember I bought my house. I paid cash for my house. I was doing daycare and I paid cash for my truck. And so people, you know, they look at me and they have a, a, a what they think that I think about myself. And that's your opinion. That's not mine. And that's not how I think about myself. Do I think I'm important? Yes. Do I think I'm smart? Yes. Do I think I'm worthy? Hell yeah. 
But at the end of the day, what you think about me ain't none of my business. It's, it's really not. So, um, yeah, girl, because, like, I grew up with roaches, and I always said that I wanted a better life. I always said that I didn't want to live like that, regardless of what my situation or my circumstances was. I wanted to be better than that, and I never, my daughter never grew up with roaches, other than living with my mom. And I think we moved out when she maybe was one. But other than that, that was it. I made sure my daughter did not go through the same thing that I went through. Because it is what it is. And I guess looking at it now as an adult, as a 54-year-old woman, um, is life. Sometimes things happen. But when you, a child, like Nunu age and teenager, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for the kids because they know something is wrong with that picture. It should not be stuff crawling around your house. You know what I'm saying? But people tend to look at roaches different from ants. Ants still are crawling. Ants are still looking for the same thing. They're looking for food, water, and shelter. Like the orchid man said, they're looking for food, water, and shelter. So it's a bug. You know, they nasty. They carry germs. And if you can, try to do your best. I know I'm with this whole week dealing with these roaches. I know I've made fun. I've joked. I talked about sugar smack. Um, I just, you know, baby, sometimes you, 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 you can't wear your life so tight on your sleeve. Life going to give you enough. It's going to throw you some curves to where... The roaches really might seem like a small thing. It really might. But what I'm saying is, if you have roaches, please don't think of yourself as less than because you're not. You know? I don't know where I'm going with this because I ain't come on here to preach. I ain't even know how I was going to say this. Baby, I already said thanks for watching. <laughs> That's it. I better make